update this week? What have you guys seen from them, and uh, what are you expecting when you get out there for your first road test? Uh, we're expecting a good game because it's a rivalry. You know, if we go in and do what we need to do and just stay focused and read our keys, we should be good. Yeah, being, you know, only a short distance, about an hour drive up to Jonesboro, does that play into, you know, you guys' preparation that it's, you know, it's a, it's a school where a lot of guys are, you know, from Arkansas, from the area, you know, they have some guys from Memphis, from the area. Is that something that uh, goes into the preparation and stuff? Um, yes, it does. Uh, by the way, Coach Hobby tell us, he like, you know, it's a big game, it's a rabbit game for some of you. I know a lot of y'all from Arkansas, so you want to go, you want to go up to Arkansas and look good in front of your family and friends. So just go and play like you've been prepared and ready. Talk about preparation. What have you seen on skate so far? Uh, they do a lot of triggery type plays, but like I said, it goes back to what Cole Hobbs say here. We just read our keys and do what we need to do. It shouldn't play. It shouldn't be a big, big thing. What can you do to help the team this week? Uh, I'm just going to personally go out there and play hard and give my all, you know. I'm coming back off a slight injury, but now I'm healthy, so it should be all right. You guys, you know, it was, it was rough against Mississippi State defensively, giving up that many points and yards. What has to change on defense to avoid uh, that again against Arkansas State? Uh, we have to be disciplined. I mean, it all goes back to being disciplined. Um, I think everybody was overly happy and overly anxious and just forgot about what we need to do and just start doing what they think they need to do instead of just read what they need to do, follow their keys, do what Coach Hop tell us to do and play the call. And a lot of that went to happen. They had a lot of big plays that we could have stopped. So that's where the majority of their success came from. So part of it maybe was just, you know, nerves, first game, first game at home. First game jitters. Yeah. yeah. Is it going to be you know, a similar first game on the road? You know, the atmosphere, I know you guys are practicing with uh, you know, some loudspeakers to kind of simulate the crowd noise. How is that helping you guys? How has that been? Um, yes, it helped. And I don't think it's going to be a dramatically big change. But it will have an effect, but we're going to get through it. Now, when, when Taylor was named this week as the starter, uh, he, uh -huh. he came in, did a pretty good job you know, uh -huh. under the circumstances. What was the mood around the, the locker room as far as uh, you know, that announcement and what you think of Taylor as, a, as your guy? Um, I really, I'm, I think highly of Taylor Reed. You know, he's a freshman, he's 18 years old, but he's coming into his big role and he's doing good. But around the locker room, it's, I mean, we okay with it. We okay with it. We feel the same as if it was Andy Summers, so it's all right. Just comes down to who's gonna, who's gonna put the points on the board pretty much on offense.